Did you know that your hairspray, your cosmetic products, your makeup, your soap, your lotion, your shampoo, your toothpaste, all of these things are literally killing you right now? Well, you need to watch today's video because we're going to share with you why that is and what you can do about it. Hey, I'm Nathan Crane. I'm Derek Crane. And we bring you programs, products, and inspiration on healthy living, fitness training, and creating an amazing life. And one of the kind of hidden secrets that companies use in their cosmetic products is fragrances. And this is one of the most important things you should be avoiding when buying or using any kind of shampoo, soap, cosmetics, uh, hairspray, any of these things that you put on or in your body. And why is that? It's because fragrances are filled with chemicals, right? Exactly. And why this is important is because your skin eats everything. Thinking of what you put onto your skin, whether it be your face or your skull or any, any part of your body, think of your skin absorbing it. Your skin is literally the largest organ of the entire body. Right. And it is breathing and it is absorbing everything. So it's very important to understand that your skin eats everything. Right, so your lotions, your makeup, your everything you're putting on it, if that's filled with chemicals, toxins, things made in laboratories, things that cause diseases, your body's absorbing that. Even if you're eating 100% organic food, but then you got all these different cosmetics and things you're using that you're putting on your skin, imagine how many toxins you are loading into your mouth through your toothpaste, into your, your hair through your shampoo, into your, you know, this is, we don't even have to go into the science. If you're interested, you can look into it. The scientific data has been there for decades of how the skin literally absorbs everything you put onto it and then your body has to process that, right? So that's simple science. Now, the key is, what are you putting on your skin that's causing these issues? So it's really important that we're aware of every single thing that we put on our skin and on our body, right? Well, the reality is fragrances are causing what? They're causing disease. It's putting your body into a state of dis-ease. Feeling in the blank here. Just, just understanding that in and of itself, that it's putting your body into a state of dis-ease. If it's constantly doing that, it's going to cause death. Right, so 72, the EPA did a study and 72% of products with the ingredient fragrances uh, are known to have phthalates. And phthalates are endocrine disruptors that are linked to things like diabetes, cancer, heart disease, liver issues, all kinds of diseases, right? So literally the phthalates in fragrances literally are linked to disease and disease obviously we know if not healed in reverse causes death. So literally your fragrances are killing you. And that includes things like your perfumes and body sprays and things like that, right? They're also filled with fragrances. Well, according to the AAD, the number one cause of contact dermatitis right, basically which is like a type of skin disease, so if you have any kind of dermatitis, it is almost always caused by your skincare products. So throw those out the window and let's focus on what kind of products you need to put on your body that are gonna get rid of these fragrances. And before we do that, we also wanna talk about, on the EPA's website, they also list 20 toxic ingredients that are typically found in fragrances. These are ingredients that are known to be toxic to the environment and toxic to your body. You can look that up on the EPA's website uh, all that you want, but you know, the thing is these companies have a loophole, right? They have this loophole through the FDA that allows them to not list the actual ingredients that's in their fragrance. So the fragrance could be filled with all kinds of toxic chemicals, but our own FDA doesn't require them to list what those chemicals are. That's totally up to the company if they want to do it or not. So if your products say fragrance on it, make sure you throw it out the window right now. Definitely toss it in the garbage. And then what we want to focus on is replacing all of it with only using organic. Because we know, we know that if it's labeled as organic and if, it, if it's from, you know, if it says, for example, like essential oil of rose petals. And that's it. No, no added 
fragrance and then wondering what kind of lab experiment went into that that now you're putting onto your body. Make your life simple. Throw out the stuff that is killing you. Throw out the stuff that is making you be in a state of dis-ease and put stuff onto your skin that is causing you to be in a state of equanimity and equilibrium. Absolutely. And you know, if these products say things like benzene or things like benzyl alcohol or things, you know, any of these types of chemicals that uh, are not something like rose petal oil or, you know, orange or apple or banana. And yeah, you can find these wonderful things in your skincare products. If it doesn't have only natural organic food ingredients in it and it's filled with all kinds of chemicals, throw it out. You can buy products that say like organic and then you read the back and it's only like 70 or 80 percent organic and the rest is filled with like fragrance and this chemical, that chemical, this chemical. You're still putting those toxins in your body. So you know some of the great um, products that I've used for years now are things like uh, Tom's, like for toothpaste. They even have better options out now that are just made with like earth clay and charcoal and natural things that are gonna bring those nutrients into your mouth as well as um, like Dr. Bronner's soap, mm -hmm. which all it is is organic natural ingredients, smells great, cleans your skin, puts those healthy oils and healthy nutrients into your skin, right? You can get shampoos, you can get sprays, you can get even hair gel or whatever. You can get so many different, all of your cosmetic needs at 100% organic and it's going to just help you prevent disease, right? And it's going to help you be healthier long term and get these freaking deadly fragrances out of your life. And what's beautiful about this is the whole entire concept of supply and demand. Right, because if, if you're purchasing these, you're telling the shelves to put more of this onto it, you know, so that future generations at least have the option, you know, have the option between choosing something that is organic, that's good for them, that's going to cause healing, or having the option of only purchasing something that's going to be causing state of disease. So it is vitally important to use your dollar bill for the future generations too, and for your own health. Absolutely. Remember, the more you buy, the cheaper it gets because yep. more companies put more products, competition goes up, more people are buying, the price has to go down. That's called Economics 101. So buy more, share this with your friends, get them to buy more as well, 100% organic type of products. Why? Because that's what we want to tell the companies to make and they will make it and it will get cheaper. So. Thank you so much for tuning in today. Leave us your thoughts in the comments, and as well as if you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below. We hope you got some good tips from this video. If so, please give it a thumbs up and share it. And if you're not subscribed yet, hit that subscribe button. We got other wonderful videos that we put out every single week about nutrition, health, fitness, diet, lifestyle, you name it. Uh, we love sharing that information with you. Thank you so much. We'll talk to you soon. Thank you. Appreciate you. See you in the next video.